Forecasting doesn't have to be boring or complicated. Imagine turning raw data into stunning visuals that not only look professional, but also help you get insights and stand out. In today's video, I am sharing 10 incredible ways to visualize forecasts using Python in Excel. From confidence intervals to trend lines, and even some more interactivity. And the best part, these techniques will work for everyone, even if you're new to Python for forecasting. Stick around until the end of the video, because I will share exactly where you can get all of this code and also a bonus tip that will take your forecasting skills to the next level and make this visual PowerPoint ready in minutes. Hi everyone, I am Christian Martinez, Finance Transformation Senior Manager and AI in Finance Professor. I have been using Python and Excel for years to unlock powerful insights in finance. With almost 10 years of experience leading finance analytics teams worldwide, I know how important it is to present forecasts in a way that is clear compelling and actionable. In this video, I will walk you through 10 forecast visualizations that you can create with Python in Excel. And I will give you the guides step by step and also the code so that you can impress everyone with these visualizations. Now, before we jump into the graphs, let's quickly cover how to enable Python in Excel. As I have mentioned in my previous videos, Python is available for certain users and I will give you the details below. Now, check that description if you have already Python available in your computer. Once that is enabled, you only need to do equal py and when you type enter, then the cell will be converted into a Python editor. And you can integrate powerful libraries like pandas, matplotlib, and Seaborn. Now let's go into the visuals. The first graph that I created in here it's a simple line chart that compares the 24 actuals and also the 2025 forecast. This is a clean way to visualize trends and deviations over time. Now, as I was mentioning, I will be sharing this Excel file with you. And you can use this code in the left in order to create the same visual for you and your data. In this, uh, in this first example, I am generating dummy data at first and then storing it for 2024 actuals and 2025 forecast. Then I'm combining it into a data frame and finally plotting the line graph, as you can see here. A very important thing is that you can customize this graph with different titles, X labels, Y labels, and also the back of the graph could be with a grid or without. In here, you can notice how I have added labels and markers for clarity. Now, this is a great starting point for financial presentations. But what if you want to start analyzing the numbers on your forecast and 
spotting outliers. Well, the second graph is perfect for this. We can make it a little bit more statistical and use a box plot. Now here, I'm, it's showing the distribution of actuals and forecasts across months so that you can spot outliers and variability. These box plots are especially useful for understanding the ranges and the spread of data. Similar to the first graph, I'm giving you the code in here in order for you to create this box plot, but with your data set. And also you can customize the plot in this part of the code. Let's check out the third one. That is a sales forecast with confidence intervals. In here, we are adding a little bit more of statistical rigor. And this visualization is highlighting the uncertainty in the predictions of our forecast. This can give decision makers a more complete picture. Now, this is one of my favorites because it visually communicates risk and uncertainty in an effective way. Similar to the other graphs, you can modify the code in this cell in order to make this visualization yours. Now, the first one is a simple one. It's a bar chart. This one is a classic example that is easy to understand where you can compare the different quarters of sales or any other financial KPI, the ones that have happened in blue in actuals, and then the forecast in orange. Same thing, we have the code in here in order for you to customize it. Now we have the fifth one. It's a sales forecast trend with a scatter plot. In here, it shows the trend and you can spot some seasonal patterns in the data. Now, I really like scatter plots because they are great for detecting relationships and anomalies. Now, if we go back to the top, we will go to the sixth graph. That is a stacked bar chart for monthly performance. In here, it's combining revenue, expenses, and profit into a single view for each of your months. The next graph is a heat map. Now, these graphs are a bit difficult to do them with Excel alone, but whenever you have Python, you just need to use the code that I'm giving you, and you can get creative with these heat maps. And this one shows how the financial performance varies across months and also years. Now, the end graph is a trend and seasonality analysis. In here, it's separating both the trend of the actuals and the forecast and the seasonality components of your forecast. Now, the one I have in here above is a dot and line chart. Now in here, I'm just emphasizing the individual data points with the circles alongside some trend lines. Now the last one is an area chart for sales forecast. In here, you can see the magnitude of actuals and forecasts over time. With all of these graphs, I'm also including all of the codes so that you can reutilize them and use them with your own data sets. As I was mentioning, I'm going to give you this file with all of the code so that you can use it in the links below. And finally, one bonus tip. You can also automate and export these visuals directly into PowerPoint 
by using the library pptx. This can save you hours of manual work and give you a polished presentation ready for your stakeholders with your graphics. Now, please tell me, which of these charts are you most excited to try? Just let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And remember, check the description below for the Python code within this Excel file. Thank you, and see you next time.